Well, I'm Bruce Walker, president of Walker Corporation in Ontario, California. Uh, the company has been in business since 1954, uh, so well over 50 years. We've served many different kinds of industries. Uh, our business is uh, progressive dyes and value-added assembly, primarily for the automotive market today. We're a tier one supplier to Toyota, and that's North America, so we ship all over the United States. We also have a lot of uh, tier one customers uh, that uh, serve Toyota and other uh, domestic automakers, so uh, pretty diversified from the kind of automotive products that we make. Our presses range from like 80 ton to up to 550 ton. That's our largest press right now. And uh, with the with a 550 ton capacity, we can make some fairly large parts and add some value to the parts actually right in the press. And then we also do secondary operations, a lot of welding and uh, other value added assembly, pim nuts, uh, foam pieces, uh, different hardware and other value added items that we put on the parts. We started purchasing CE presses back in the 80s and the reason that we bought CE presses was the value that they offer. Larger you know bed presses for for lower cost. Uh, we were doing a lot of uh, very long progressive dies, multi-stage progressive dies, not particularly heavy material at that time and so the CE presses were ideal from that standpoint. We started off with smaller presses and then eventually got to bigger bed you know, presses. But we found for the type of automotive parts that we're making that the um, uh, reliability and the capabilities of the CE presses have worked out very well for us. Opportunities from the customers they've given us for parts for frames, uh, chassis, uh, all the way from thick small parts to very thin large parts for like insulators that would go over uh, exhaust systems and things like that. CE is very versatile uh, to be able to handle the thin material also up to the relatively thick material depending upon the press size. We initially bought CE presses for the value. Uh, they were lower cost and suited the kind of work that, that Walker was doing at the time. Through our transition from electronic components into the automotive components, we found out that the CE presses were very robust and capable of running thicker, bigger parts with no maintenance issues and uh, very, very capable of making this transition into larger, more complex parts. We were very pleasantly surprised and very you know, happy that our investment paid off. Going to the smart packs uh, was a conscious decision, a strategic decision to standardize all of our controls on all of our presses. That way we could have a bank, a good memory bank of uh, setup information in the uh, control and also uh, utilize our sensors. We started a sensor dye protection program here quite a few years ago and the uh, uh, Wintrust controls or smart packs are at the heart of, uh, of that program, enabling us to have like a single one point connection from the press to the die and make it simple for quick die change and uh, eliminate a lot of extra time for setups and confusion. The SAE presses are very user friendly, if you will. The panel is very operator friendly. It's easy to train somebody. We can usually train somebody within a week to be very proficient on just doing uh, uh, setups, startups, not typically die change overs if they don't already have that experience, but as far as the functionality of the press, uh, understanding the, the fault codes and getting it up and running and clearing them, a uh, very simple interface for the operators. Uh, overall, uh, the precision, the, the ability of the machine to hold its precision after uh, millions of cycles. We run uh, the presses at two shifts, and that's about the equivalent of about 20 hours a day, and uh, roughly eight to 10 hours on a Saturday continuously. They don't wear it. We don't have any problems with any type of alignment or being able to hold tight tolerance. Uh, absolutely, the, the wet clutch is definitely a, a big factor in the operation of the equipment. It uh, allows it uh, 
it's an advantage over the dry clutch because it has a longevity. So we're, we've, I can't say that we've ever had an issue with any of those components on the equipment. So definitely uh, we don't uh, shy away or, or worry about the equipment's ability uh, when we have to hold very tight tolerance. We have been using say press for over 10 years. When we think about new equipment, we think about CE, we don't think about a press, we don't think about any other name. Definitely saying yes to CE is, is in our vocabulary, not only from my standpoint, but from the people on the floor, the people that run the equipment, and the, uh, the technicians who help keep the equipment uh, uh, running.